Uh, I'd, I'd now like to introduce Gwen Keel, our Chair of Te Rata Atafai, the Independent Charities Registration Board, to speak about the board, its role and work over the past year. Tēnā koutou koutou and uh, nā mihi ki a koe Joe. I um, always appreciate your warm welcome and I have to say the waiata from Kaumahi is getting pretty slick. Um, it's beautiful to see and I um, really appreciate the kaupapa Māori element that you're introducing to the meetings. It's just wonderful. Um, I'd like to um, acknowledge everyone that's here today, particularly the Minister. Thank you so much for your time. I know the sector really appreciates the chance to speak with you in person. It's really valuable to them and it really shows your commitment to the sector. So we really want to commend you for taking the time to journey up and, and be with us today. Thank you. And I also want to thank all of you for being here today and um, everyone who's online. It's weird, I know you're there, but I can't see you. Um, so I really want to thank you for your time and I particularly want to acknowledge the Kaimahi from Charity Services today. So the, the board is an independent three-person board. Um, obviously we delegate a lot of the day-to-day -day work uh, under the Act to Charity Services because there's only three of us and they're doing the heavy lifting on our behalf. And I really want to acknowledge the wonderful staff and I particularly want to acknowledge Natasha Waite and Stephen Riley for their immense support of us over the last year, but all the wonderful policy staff that we've been interacting with, the investigative staff and the administrative staff. You guys do an amazing job in what is a very busy, very difficult um, area to work in in terms of the amount of change and things that are happening. So we really appreciate you. As the Minister's alluded to, it's been a full-on uh, number of years, not just a full-on year. Um, some of you may know in my day job I work uh, full-time for a large and complex charity. And we have been grappling with COVID, um, needing to change our rules to respond to COVID, how to meet online, how to have a hybrid meeting where some of us are in the room and some of us aren't how our members can vote, even though they're not in the room, and various other challenges, particularly in relation to the economy. And we know for many charities in the room and online, it's annual appeal season, um, and time to get out there and rattle the bucket and to try and get money in. And it's just really difficult in the economy at the moment. So really just want to um, express my support and um, my feelings of connection with you as someone who works in the charitable sector every day. Um, we do understand and know the struggles that you have, uh, even though we're sitting on the board and you may not see us all the time, we really do relate to what's going on in your world as well. One of the other things that's been um, particularly challenging for us over the last period of time is the amount of law reform that's obviously going on, it's a Kapai Minister, but it's really busy out there. Um, so in the charity I work in, we're dealing with Three Waters reform, RMA reform, um, legal reform across a suite um, of things. We've got a, a charities amendment bill to look at now, incorporated society regulations uh, coming up as well. So it's a really, really busy, complex time. We're also getting some really important decisions coming through the courts. So some of you will have seen the recent court decision uh, involving Family First and also the Alice decision in relation to tikanga and the law. So there's a lot of material coming out of our courts that's really relevant to how we do our job on an everyday basis and the law that we apply. So what the board exists to do is to be independent. So we're independent, we don't take direction from the minister, we're independent from charity services, and um, the board consists of myself, Dr Bev Gatenby, who's with us today, if you wanna raise your hand, Bev. Um, and Loretta Lovell, who apologises she can't be here today. She's off been fabulous in a, uh, a different legal forum, um, but she wanted me to express to you that her regrets that she can't join us today. So the three of us in practice deal with complex or novel issues related to registration and deregistration. And 
we are assisted very much in that work by charity services, obviously. Um, but we need to apply the law as it currently stands in the nation. So we are particularly interested in, in decisions here in New Zealand, but also from overseas in the direction of travel of reform. And we're always modifying our approach to, to how we look at matters because we have to apply the law. So two of the members of the board are lawyers, full-time practicing lawyers, um, and Dr. Bev Gatenby has a long um, association with the sector, many of you will know Bev, and um, she's a very experienced operator in the charities sector. So in applying the law, we need to look at what's coming out of the courts, what's already in the Act, obviously, and we're very interested in the law reform process. What the Supreme Court court decision has done in Family First is really clarify for us very helpfully um, some matters in relation to advocacy and when advocacy is and is not permissible and when it will and won't be part of your charitable purpose. So that's been a, a really helpful decision and most of you all know that it takes a really long time for cases to work through the courts. So there is a degree of uncertainty while those cases are working through the courts so we're really glad we have that decision now. The second thing I want to say about law reform is I really encourage you to engage with the current process we were looking at the Charities Amendment Bill. So obviously the time frame is short, you, we only have six weeks, but what I want to encourage you all to do is if you're struggling with that time frame or you, you want a, a way to quickly assist yourself, there's some really good material on the Department of Internal Affairs website which summarises for you quite helpfully what the main changes are, but also what's really valuable on there is that the departments pulled together the submissions and thoughts of the people who the department have been working with over the last few years. So there were a number of stakeholders that were consulted in the work up to the Charities Amendment Bill, and, and the charity I work for was one of them. And the submissions that we all made are available on that site. So there will be already formulated thinking and submissions from organisations that may be a little bit like yours or enough like yours that you can read through some of the material there and I think it will really assist you. So I really want to encourage you to do that. There's a number of large kaupapa Māori organisations that have submitted, there's a number of community organisations that have submitted, big and small. So I really want to encourage you to use that resource that's there. Um, the other thing is that the Incorporated Societies regulations are, are currently out for submission as well. If you're an Incorporated Society, uh, my charity is, I know a lot of yours will be too, um, there are some really important regulations out for review and the due date for those is the 22nd of November. So really encourage you to participate in those law reform processes. Um, I can tell you as someone who is involved in those processes in my day job, your voice is really important. You can change things um, through the submission process. I encourage you to appear before the select committee. If you have a look at the personality of the select committee, they're a diverse group of people. Um, and I think that you should all take the opportunity to appear before them to support your submissions, um, whether they are long submissions or just short ones. And one of the things that we do a lot in my job is pick the stuff we really want to die on a hill on and submit on that, and then go and talk to the select committee about that. You don't have to remark on everything. You can pick two or three things that you really want to talk about and really work hard to get your view over about those things. And on that point, the board is really interested to know and hear through the submission process, uh, which we may be participating in ourselves. Um, certainly, many of us will be in our day jobs, but also in our capacity as, as the board. We'd love to hear what you think the role of the board ought to be in terms of uh, the appeals process that's just been discussed, uh, the ability to appear before the board, what that might look like, how that might assist you, how that could be made more accessible for you, um, and how you would like to see that work. We would love to hear your views on those things in particular. Um, there is, for example, an, a note, an increase from three members to five on the board, which um, I imagine the board thinks is great. Uh, I can tell you that we think uh, the more the merrier uh, to get the mahi done over the next period of time. But I really want to encourage you today to participate in the submission process 
It doesn't have to be a scary thing. You can submit on quite short or, or pithy points. You don't, it doesn't have to be a scary exercise writing a, a, a big kind of legal treatise on what your position is. You can make that quite informal and just get your point across like that. So those were the main points I wanted um, to share with you today. It's lovely to be here. I know Bev and myself will be here for the afternoon, so we'd love to talk to anyone who would like to talk to us. Um, I want to congratulate you all on another year of amazing work in the sector. Um, there is no end to the variety of work and the fabulous work that goes on in the sector. And just looking through the beautiful uh, book on your tables today, um, the beautiful photos coming through of all the mahi around the motu, I want to thank everybody who submitted their photos to that. It's just lovely to see them and to hear about what you're doing in the sector out there in the Takiwa. So, nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.